I've got three A-levels in philosophy, film studies and art. I think, therefore, I am. See, that's Descartes. I've got an arse to rival that of Nicki Minaj, and I'd happily lob a milkshake at the face of Nigel Farage. I'm a vegetarian, and I care about the planet. I eat lentils and quinoa with pomegranate. I like grime music, big up Skepta and JME. I used to wear Gucci, but I put it all in the bin because that's not me. I'm not on Twitter because my words have no consequence. I'm reluctant to forever publish any of my incompetence. I mean, I know I'm saying my words to you down a mic right now, but this is ironic and postmodern and clever. <laughs> Somehow. Um, the main thing that you need to know to understand my core being, to facilitate you in looking at me and doing some inner self sightseeing, is that a week last Tuesday with this very hand, I text my ex-boyfriend the words, are you watching Love Island? <laughs> Oh, it was a shame. And like Gemma Collins, I wasn't playing any game. I genuinely wanted to know if he was invested to stop my brain from being so congested. I wanted to know if we're both staring at the same villa in Mallorca. It's important for the health of my thoracic aorta. It's, it's part of the heart, it rhymes Mallorca. I want to know who he thinks is being mugged off and misled and which of the girls in there would like totally turn his head. And he's not 100% my type on paper. I don't want to marry him and buy a joint coffee maker. I don't want to couple up with him for life and be his big-bottomed, grime-loving wife. And if he's with another girl right now and it's exclusive, then I am more than happy to be totally elusive. If that's the case, fine. Doesn't hurt my pride. Crack on. More than happy to be pied. But, 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 if you're sat watching telly of a night, filling your brain with toned tummies and Spanish sunlight, and you have no one's lap in which to lay your head, and then you go off on your own to bed, like I do, but then maybe it would be quite nice to know, because if you're going to fill your brain with that stupid show, then maybe there's some room for some genuine, honest intimacy. That's probably the sort of thing you could get from me. And at the weekend, I don't want to go to you, go with you to Ikea. I don't want to go to the Lake District and sample homebrewed beer. I don't want to share a flat covered in plaques that say live, love, laugh. And I don't want to go to any dinner parties with you as your other half. I don't want to talk about stamp duty or who you're going to vote for in the local by-election. I just want to push my bottom against you and give you an erection. I just want to dance around a field with you high on MDMA and kiss your face and, and stroke your hair and then maybe say, Hey, this is okay. I mean, not for every day, but monogamy is not the only way, is it? Because I think you're great, but I don't want to go on any proper dates. Does any of this resonate, or should I go home and solemnly masturbate? Because it's not really about the sex. I don't want a one night stand. I don't want to take a stranger home and have to massage his prostate gland. I don't want an experience that's going to leave me feeling empty and alone, waking up to someone that I made come, but with a name unknown. So I just want to watch Love Island with you. you fucking melt because watching telly next to someone I quite like is the only time I've ever felt relaxed and content so there's actually quite a lot at stake which is weird because I just want to lay my head on your shoulder and make you a cup of tea at the outbreak. Relationships are weird and they're complicated, they're nuanced, they don't make any sense so when it comes to you and I being together or apart I'm very much going to sit on the fence. I've got three A-levels in uh, philosophy, film studies and art, I think therefore I am. Descartes. I'm a vegetarian, but I eat the occasional Big Mac, and I care about the planet, but I forgot to take my reusable cup to Costa a couple of weeks back. I like grime music, big up Stormzy and all your vibes, but I've only listened to your top five on Spotify, no B-sides. So I'm not on Twitter because I've got nothing important to say, but I've made you all listen to this five-minute poem anyway. So I suppose what I'm trying to explore is that things aren't quite as black and white as I thought they were before. And all this over one text message, I don't mean to get into such a tease, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to lie, it is what it is. Thank you. <laughs>